All right, guys, welcome back to uh, Spartan Outdoors TV. Had a pretty successful day offshore. We got some uh, flounder, black sea bass out of Ocean City, Maryland, fishing the wrecks. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys two different ways to prepare them whole. Uh, we're gonna do a stuffed with crab and a whole fried flounder. So I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare it from uh, cooler to table. Guys, we got a beautiful uh, flounder that we caught offshore on some ocean structure here. Um, we're gonna prepare this one for whole frying. Um, you know, we're gonna leave the bones in. We're just, we're not taking the fillets off. So I wanna start out by just cutting these lateral fins on either side. Just take a nice sharp pair of scissors or even your knife, even those up. I'm gonna cut the uh, tail fin off. Guard that. So right here is his gut cavity. Um, and you, you can see that over here too. That's gonna be important because later on we're gonna cut the head off. Okay, so first stuff with this whole fried flounder, um, I like to cut, I like to fillet the bottom part completely uh, just so it's a even cook. This is a bigger fish and so um, you just want it to be thin enough that uh, it'll fry up in the fryer and not overcook. So just like you're flaying a normal flounder, we're gonna take the bottom white side off. Got the fillets off the bottom side. Um, and now what, what you wanna do is we're gonna remove the head and the gut cavity right here. And uh, you can see where it runs. Uh, if, this, if this is your first time doing it, do it on the white side like this. Just come in here right behind the head, the shoulder, make a cut up, insert your knife there, through the backbone, cut there, and there we go. We, uh, we took out the cavity um, and the head, and I like to save these for crab bait. Okay, so guts are removed. Uh, now I'm just gonna take a knife, scale the fish. All right, so we got most of the scales off this fish. I'm gonna touch it up in the kitchen when I'm done. But uh, so this is gonna be the whole fried one. All we're gonna do is start scoring it. Um, just wanna go right down to the bone there. And when you feel the bone, kind of stop. Uh, I like to score these pretty heavily. You know, every like half an inch, honestly, it gets really nice and crispy. And all that batter, whatever batter you use, whatever seasoning, it'll go right into that, that meat there. Uh, just wanna be careful not to cut through anything looks like a lot of scoring but it does turn out well this way basically each one of these squares that we make here is going to flake apart and it's just like a little pull apart bite so there's our fish we're going to get it cleaned up and washed up a little bit and um yeah get that ready for the fryer all right guys we uh got our fryer heating up here i like to cook it at about 375 uh, 350 minimum uh, but not too hot throwing our uh, flounder in um, I like to use the same mixture every single time. I'm a house autry guy. Uh, put a little house autry in there, and then I add a little bit of uh, my favorite Cajun seasoning. That's really all you need. Um, you can just do this with flour, salt, and pepper. If you don't have it, I don't, if you don't have uh, another special batter on hand. All right, there we go. Not bad. You can see there's you know little areas where it needs touched up, but you just want to check and make sure that you have. Uh, in between all those areas. Dust it off a little bit. Got our oil nice and hot. And we're just gonna drop that right in there, away from us, nice and easy. All right, guys. Here's our beautiful flounder filet, how she's looking after about 10 minutes. Um, got a little separation there by the tail, just gonna be careful. Let that drain off just a little bit. And there you go, you can see, like I said, getting that batter in between, very important. 
we have really crispy pieces here that'll just kind of pull off like uh, little little cubes of fish. And here we go, um, start to finish, whole flounder, whole sea bass. Hear that? It's really nice and crispy, just how you want it. And um, like I said, I think I, I put in more slits than you know. I think I've seen other people on YouTube do, but this is how I've always done it. Because look at that, you just pull apart, whether it's the flounder or the sea bass, you just pull out that rectangle of meat. Nice and fresh. Yeah, that's outstanding. Give this one a try, guys.